A show of force by law enforcement in response to protesters occupying private property. Good evening, everybody. Two men have been arrested for two shooting incidents this weekend in Bismarck. One of them has now been formally charged. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kevin Stanfield. The pipeline protesters were more than 100 strong, but the smaller group of people who were counter protesting were pretty loud as well. But a guy named Dale American Horse Jr. was handcuffed so tight to the equipment that it took hours of work to get him off of it. The Morton County Sheriff closed Highway 6 on both sides of the demonstration for several hours, but it is now open once again. And one of the hardest hit areas was near Bisbee, 45 miles northwest of Devil's Lake, where high winds damaged several farms. BSC President Larry Scogan said that the college received a credible threat from the FBI that a student had threatened to shoot up the school library with a machine gun. The state senators and tribal leaders met today in Newtown with the director of the FBI. Now, this is James Comey's first visit to the Fort Berthold Reservation. President Barack Obama has officially endorsed Hillary Clinton now for president. The price of crude oil is now above $50 a barrel for the first time since July of 2015. The big question is, will it last? And anyone who lost their job in the oil fields may have an opportunity to further their education and increase their skills. The North Dakota University system is now accepting applications for its Bakken U program. Camaros and Catholics are made at that facility. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cadillacs. <laughs> Cadillacs. I don't know if I can go Cadillacs. on. Cadillacs. <laughs> We're on North Dakota today. This, I gotta tell you, this is the way to get your weekend going. <laughs>